Anyway, I'll give you a preview before we start learning the intro section. It goes like this. It goes like this. Like that, okay? So, let's go ahead and start learning it, okay? So, the right hand, uh, the first part goes like this. Is Okay, the right hand actually plays A major triad for seven times. So, A major triad is A, C sharp, and E, right? So, play for seven times. So, one, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, and then we go to the G up to the F, E, D, and D again, C, down to F, up to C, A, like that for the right hand, okay? Okay, so that's the first part. Let's do it again. So the right hand goes seven times A major triad. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, G, F, E, D, D, C, F, C, A, like that for the right hand, okay? So that's the right hand. The left hand for this first part is pretty easy as well. So instead of doing it seven times uh, A major chord, um, the left hand this time, it does it for eight times just to complete the eighth one, I guess. So A major triad for the left hand for eight times. Remember that? So A, C, sharp, E. So eight times. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then G major triad uh, for four times, which is G, B, D. So we play that four times. So it's two, three, four. And F major try for four times as well, which is F, A, C, okay? So two, three, four, okay? So just like that, that's the left hand for the first part. So pretty much A major for eight times, <laughs> G major for four times, and F major for four times, okay? So one more time, so it just goes like this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, like that. Okay, so with that in mind, let's put the two hands together. It's pretty simple. Uh, it's pretty much for the first part. Um, every note on the right hand uh, corresponds to the left hand chords as well. So it's always playing something uh, right together on each hand. Okay, so it just goes like this. Check it out. So it's like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And when we switch the G on the right hand, the left hand still plays the A major chord. So it's like like that. And then F up here with G major chord. Together, 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 and C and F major together, 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 F major and F together, and then C together, and then together, like that. Okay, so it corresponds exactly to all the notes. Okay, so one more time. So it goes like this one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, G, together, together, like that. Okay, so. Normally, we continue the second part down here, right? But you can't really see the left hand good. So I'll just demonstrate everything one octave higher. So normally you go one octave below. So the middle C is here. You normally, the right hand D would play from here. But it's all right. We'll play it from here for the second part, okay? So this is the second part. It's pretty easy. Uh, right hand goes like this, okay? So D, starting on D. So it goes D up to C, B, A, D. And then up to C, B, A, and then repeat that again. D, C, B, A, D, and then D, E, F sharp. And that's it for the second part, okay? So one more time, right hand goes like this. D, C, B, A, D, C, B, A, D, C, B, A, D, D, E, F sharp, like that. Okay, so that's the right hand. Remember the pattern? So it's like, dun, dun. The rhythm and padding for it, okay? So that's the right hand for the second part. The left hand, we only have two things happening here uh, recycling over four times. So four times of D major followed by a bass of eight A, the, like just A octave. I'll just do one note if you can't reach the octave, but yeah, so it's pretty much D major, D, F sharp, A, right? Followed by just A bass note. And then we play the full total of four times. So repeat those two things, two elements for four times. So second time, third time, fourth time. Like that. Okay. Just like that, okay? Or you can just do like the do, do, do. If you like, like to take risks and jump bigger. It's pretty awesome like that. But anyway, just like that, okay? So four times of D major plus A bass note, okay? So just D. like that okay so putting two hands together it goes like this I gotta do it slowly for the second part so it goes like this so D and D major together together B and A bass together after the D D major by itself B 
and A together, D and D major together, B and A together, after D, D major by itself, E and A together, like that. That's the second part, okay? Let's do it again, so it's like this, together, together, here, together, together, Okay, so remember this second part is extremely important in this whole song because later on, this second part actually appears pretty much throughout the whole entire song. You get what I mean? So we have to get this second part really good because this part is one of the most important parts in the song, okay? So, um, so if we do it an octave lower, it sounds better. So you can't see it here, but it's still the same thing. I'm just showing you what it sounds like when it's one octave below. Check it out. Like that, okay? So make a jumpy feel for it. Like that, jumpy, nice and jumpy, okay? To give that kind of feeling to it. Okay, but anyway, and that's it for the intro, okay?